Hello, everybody. Um, my name is Jason Purcell. I am co-owner of Edmonton's Glass Bookshop, and I am delighted to be here to talk about a book that I love very dearly, and that is Vivek Shreya's She of the Mountains. So this novel was the gateway into the world of Vivek Shreya for me. Um, many of you probably already know who Vivek Shreya is. She is a skilled and thoughtful writer who always seems to have her finger on the pulse. Um, she is an incredible and accomplished musician, songwriter, singer. Um, she is also a playwright and an actor, a filmmaker, visual artist. She is kind of all things. Um, so, so there's such a rich body of work to engage with if you're new to Vivek's work or if you are already familiar with her, then you, you have a sense already of, of um, what she's interested in, the arenas that she's moving in. Um, the ideas that she's very engaged with. So, so this book, I'm really excited to talk to you about it because it's the one that started it all for me in my engagement with her work. Um, and, and you can really see the ways that it ties into her other, other projects. So She of the Mountains is Vivek's first novel and it was published in 2014 by Arsenal Pulp Press in Vancouver. And it also features these really stunning illustrations by Raymond Biesinger. Um, so, I mean, these, these illustrations coupled with Vivek's extraordinary writing and deep thinking, um, I mean, this, is a, this book is a work of art, goes without saying. So this novel um, it has a kind of dual narrative. So the first tells the story of a boy who is um, navigating his own kind of sense of his own sexuality. Um, meanwhile, throughout the novel, we kind of see the ways in which his sexuality is, is um, kind of defined and classified by folks on the outside. So people are um, kind of doing that work of classification for him. For example, he is taunted and teased, told over and over and over again that he's gay growing up. And so when he does get older, that does become a label that he uses for himself. It becomes an identity that he takes on. Um, and it's not until later, when he falls in love with a woman, enters a romantic and sexual relationship with her, that um, it really kind of becomes hyper-visible the ways in which that identity um, is not tenable, it doesn't fit, uh, it's just not right, it doesn't cover all the ways um, that, that he moves through the world. So the novel is really interested in asking questions about how it is we construct our senses of selves uh, when there are folks around us, people around us, who, who do a lot of that work on our behalf. How does violence from, uh, from others, from the outside, um, come to bear on the body and the ways that we construct our senses of self. You know, as I already said, this novel um, is about a boy who's trying to understand why it is these labels are coming to him, you know, being told he's gay over and over again, um, and how it is he's meant to embody those identities. And I mean embody quite literally here. When you read the novel, you'll kind of see what Vivek's getting at. Like, along this line, it would this novel is probably one that I would really recommend to people who are interested in, in queer writing and queer theory, uh, especially if you've got to think for Foucault, because this is, uh, this is a really great and really um, ripe text for, for that kind of analysis. Because Vivek is very interested here in, in topics of, of biopower and of surveillance, and uh, the ways in which like the proper ways to be gay or straight or bi um, are regulated along the body, are policed in those ways. And it's also an incredible novel about love. I mean, that is another one of its central themes, the ways in which love uh, for oneself or for another individual can um, have the power to help us know ourselves or step into ourselves, um, perhaps a little bit more authentically. So yeah, it's a really fantastic and rich and deep, deep novel. I mean, it's a slim one, but it's rich. In, in thinking and in care and in um, beautiful writing. So it's, uh, it's definitely one that I just like want to shout from the mountain tops about. Um, it's, it's, it's great. So if this video kind of just piqued your interest a little bit, it is uh, of course available to order on glassbookshop.com uh, and we would deliver it to you if you live in Edmonton or St. Albert or Sherwood Park completely free. We would just bring it your way. Um, and if you live elsewhere in Canada and you wanted to place an order, we could mail that off to you. Um, so thank you so much for watching. I hope that 
you were interested in this book. I hope that it kind of uh, encouraged you to, to give it a go. Um, I'd love to hear from you in the comments. So if you have already read it, let me know. If you're interested in reading it, I would also love to hear that. Um, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. That really helps us kind of keep our, keep our content coming and, and spreading the word. Now, like the video, it does the same thing. And if you want, you could also follow us on social media. So I've linked the Instagram and the Twitter and the Facebook down below. So you can find us there too. So thank you again for spending some of your time with me today. And I hope that you're taking good care, that you're staying home and healthy and safe, and that you're enjoying your reading. Um, so until next time, have a good one. Okay, bye.